Hey, Roman here from Autocratch. And you know what this means? It's time for an urgent quick video because there's still a time to get onto the priority queue list of the Strata ICO on coin list. And for this, you just need three things. Number one, you need to get your Terra uh, station wallet set up. And I will show you how. Number two, you will need Luna tokens onto your Terra station wallet address. And I'll show one way how you can do this. And number three, you need to stake and also provide liquidity on the Strata platform. And I will guide you through this. So the Terra Nagor is built around the native Luna token and a bunch of other stable coins like UST, which uh, might sound familiar to, to you and is the biggest on there. So let's not waste any more time, let's go. So here we are on the first website you have to go to, uh, station.terra.money. You can get that via Terra Money and then Explore and then Station Wallet. Uh, I will leave all the links below, so don't worry about that. These are basically my notes, four sites. Okay, so we're here on Terra Station and you can see that there is a, a button for wallet. We don't have anything here. So if we click on connect in the top right corner, <clears throat> it is going to ask us which wallet to connect. So what I will do is I will click on install ex uh, extension um, and that will download the Chrome extension. Always check the users here, right? If you have the right one, but I was on the official site, so um, I hope it is the right one. So I add an extension. So we go to the wallet and we obviously create a new wallet. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, okay. All right, <clears throat> wallet created. So now we copy that wallet. So next, how many Luna do we need? Well, if we go to the latest blog post and we scroll down, qualifying criteria, if you already were staking, you needed more than 10 and more than, uh, so more than 10 Luna staked and uh, on average more than 10 Luna X in your wallet. Or you needed to stake the liquidity pool token, more than 10 Luna, etc. liquidity pool staking. Okay, so probably 20 Luna, around a bit more than 20 Luna, you will be fine. Um, but that was for from last week when the snapshot was taken. Can we still be part of priority queue if you don't meet the above criteria? If you don't meet the above criteria, you still can be, uh, you still have an opportunity. So the reserving 10% of your priority queue slots for use who have missed out, increase your chances by staking more up to the 22nd of Jan. Um, also side note, the higher you stake, the better your chances are to get in the priority queue. Minimum 10 Luna in either stake pool or liquidity staking. So the minimum of 10 Luna in either. Um, so now we need to get some Luna. So we go to Hyobi, uh, I purchased some uh, Luna and um, I will try first, I copy the address from my TerraStation wallet and I try first to just send um, two Luna over and see if it arrives so that everything is fine. I think that's the something that I recommend to do this. First send a small amount and then um, send a bigger amount if if it arrives. Okay, the, so these two Lunas are sent. I will go back to our Terra Station wallet, see how long it takes for it to arrive. Boom, and you can see it arrived here in the extension. So. We're just gonna add uh, more tokens so we know it arrives. So now I've got all my Luna here in this wallet. Um, so we can go to the next step. And so here we are on Strata, um, stake Luna. This will open the pools. Basically you have to connect your wallet, Terra Station. Boom, wallet is connected. Okay, so. And this is uh, something to keep in mind. There are different pools. You have the regular staking pools where you can, can stake in any of those. And you've got the liquid staking pools where you will get Luna X. So you can, you can choose basically. Either, as the article says, in this part, 
right? The higher you stake, the better your chances are to get into priority queue. Minimum is 10 Luna in either stake pools or liquid staking. So any of the... So any of these pools will count more than 10 or liquid staking. So what I will do is I will go for liquid staking. But what you will notice is if you just try to contribute either in these pools or in the regular staking pools, you will notice that you're not able to deposit because what you need is UST, uh, which is a stablecoin for the transaction fees. So I need to change some of my Luna into UST. So for that, I go to TerraSwap, open the web app and swap some Luna for UST. Connect to wallet. So wallet will be connected. Let's say I'll just I'll just swap half a Luna. Then you will uh, uh, add your password. You will post it. Boom. Processing. Done. Okay. So now I've I've got some UST for fees. And if you uh, paid attention, I changed the fee here into Luna. So if you do, so you don't have you if when you don't have UST, you just change the fee into Luna because you have Luna, and then it takes that. So I go back to Strata, I refresh the page so it rereads my wallet and it knows I've got UST in there. Then let's say I want to stake 15 Luna. Output. And I click on stake. It's staked. And the cool thing here with liquid staking is you can add liquidity here down. So here you can add Luna X with Luna and we received 14 Luna X and I've got 15 Luna. So now I can provide liquidity here. And the cool thing about that is that you can earn higher APR and a portion of the Strata tokens daily rewards. So this is done. So you need to keep in mind that unstaking takes 21 to 24 days to unlock Luna. So what I've done here, basically I staked Luna and I got some liquid Luna, basically Luna X in return. And that I then basically paired with the rest of the Luna I was holding uh, as a liquidity pool token that then yield a higher APR for me. And um, basically we could receive a portion of the Strata token daily rewards.